Hey, you guys. So we're on our way to. The hell are we on our way to? The winery. <laughs> Peller Estates. Peller Estates Winery. How did we drive for like one minute and it feels like we're in a different, completely different town? <laughs> Right? Yeah. Cause we're on the back we're on the back um streets. Back streets back. Alright. I mean, living in Niagara is actually very horrible. I know people that live here. Yeah, it looks depressing as hell. I don't want to waste our battery. Um because I want you guys to see the wine country. So I'll start I'll record when I'm a little bit closer for you guys, right? I want you guys to see the pretty houses that I saw, but now I'm only seeing crap ones. There's some big wow. houses. Yeah, that Does this remind big. you of like, um, the show, like the Flintstones, is it? <laughs> the Flintstones? What? Yeah, the little house. Into my accomplishment. houses in an area that what where are they getting all this money from so have any of you guys watched um Bates Hotel okay you guys I know you guys probably have to watch Bates Hotel you know how they have those illegal motel. stuff motel sorry <laughs> Bates Motel you know how they have those illegal like they're selling off weed and stuff and they're all that crazy business this reminds me of that because such a small town I'm seeing huge houses and no, and I'm not, I, I just can't How's conceive, I just can't understand how they have the money for it. Even if it's cheaper, where are you getting the money? So how do people get money in Toronto? With huge, um, hello, we have big companies in Toronto that you're um, working for. Oh, you're saying because you can't be a doctor or a lawyer in Niagara? Or a dentist in Niagara. How many doctors and lawyers or are there going to be? Eventually, teachers can make money too. There's so many jobs. Even people working at the hotels um, could, could afford out. Yeah, fine. Fine. that's right. What's wrong with you? <laughs> That was a long and boring, well it wasn't a boring drive, it was an interesting drive. It was a, a boring drive. Land. We were talking about scarecrows. Question. <laughs> <laughs> if Should a scarecrow be called a scarecrow or a crow scarer? That's the question he was asking me on the drive here. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have, I'm on to something here. Because the scarecrow just sounds like a crow with a, a trait that makes it scare. Right? But... Is, it doesn't describe a human shaped thing whose purpose is to scare crows. However, a crow oh scarer. You guys, this is the entire, exactly. the entire <laughs> car ride here. Okay, we'll talk to you guys on the flip side.
we're going into the ten below room. So we're just putting on. They gave us these parkas to put on. You look very warm and cozy. Very warm and cozy. <laughs> I am so ready for this right here. You look very warm. <laughs> I am. Do you need gloves? Huh? I have gloves. Yes! Chili? You cold? Huh? Are you cold? No, I'm I'm prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we just we just tried three or four wines so far. Yeah, the last one was ice wine. It was the ice so wine was good. the best. It's sweet. It's very sweet. Um, and we're in an ice place. That's what you guys just saw. Yeah. Like it was very cold. It was super cold. I'm the only one. I have my big scarf. I have my gloves on. Like ice. And I might. I still. My hands are still freezing right now. I need more blood. <laughs> See, are you a vampire? My, my grandma says. My grandma says I have no blood. <laughs> Okay, we just left with the winery. Um, we didn't get anything, no, but that's fine. We'll get wine some other time when we feel like it. Yeah. Did you like the tour? The tour is, I think, yeah, I learned stuff that I never knew about wine. Like though it's not interesting to me, really. I like the fact that I'm learning, like, the different kinds of wine, what goes into the different kinds of wine, the different seasons, like different ways to, like different things to pair it with. I like that. Like, I think, remember, drinking wine is not just drinking wine. It is, it, it puts you into a different category, different classification. Like you are, people that drink wine are business people, are people that have a hard day of work. Um, you know, if you go into a specific event, you want to be able to speak to the different wines. You want to know how to spin it, smell it, swirl it in your mouth. And, you know, you need to know all those different things because that's what... It's like a elite, elitist hobby. It is, very much so. And if you want to fake it till you make it, you better fake it with what you can fake it with, which is wine. It's a lot cheaper than joining a, a golf club and a lot less effort <laughs> to learn how to, <laughs> to drink it than it is to, play, to learn how to play.